Yeah, I'm not shaving my head. Morning everyone, hope you're all good, and welcome back to day two of the 30 day uh, daily vlogging challenge that I'm doing that I created myself. So today, as I said, it's going to be a bit more about my other business. Um, yes, there's more about the brokerage business, I had a lot of work to do there. Um, and today's going to be more about the actual properties that I run um, and that I operate myself. So we're going to be going to one of those today and I will show you that. But beforehand, uh, this is what I sort of do in the morning is I'll sit at my desk and I will basically just go through exactly what um, what I have to do, I'll write a massive to-do list um, and detail everything that needs to be done, all the messages I need to send, any emails I need to send, all the bits and pieces I need to get organized. Um, and this list today is looking uh, fairly, fairly substantial. Yeah, so this is why I'm looking at hiring staff. We've got a couple of bits to do before we hop on a call. We've got to then uh, hop on a call, write a few emails, discuss a few things, and then set off to head to Windsor, which is where um, my properties are. We've got a viewing, but I'll explain more about that later. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I've charged the GoPro, so I'm gonna take that, that should be fun. So I'm just gonna crack on. Okay, I'm actually running a little bit behind schedule. I'm in the lift in my building on the way down to my car. We've got to go to a viewing in Windsor. And I've also got to take the rubbish out. Okay, so that was a bit manic. Um, so, I basically just had to rush. The last time you saw me, I was in Oxford and I was in my lift in my building about to take the rubbish out. But I've just got, well, I say I just got to Windsor. I got to Windsor about 10, 15 minutes ago. Um, and I've just done a viewing for our other business. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit about what the other business is. Um, if you've watched a couple of my previous videos, I think it explains briefly what I do. Um, but essentially all it is, is we rent a property from a landlord and then we rent it out on a nightly basis uh, and benefit from the difference in income. So that's what this property is. We choose quite a niche uh, property. We go for big five bed, you know, luxury properties. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of a tour, but uh, I'm gonna make it quick because my mouth is as dry as Gary's flip flop and I need to go and get a drink. So this is the door, uh, there's me, lovely. Um, nice stairs there, it's all basically brand new um, refurbishment on it. Um, so come in here, this is the king size room. It's the, it's the only king size room we have in here, but it is one of the nicest in my opinion. If you come around here, this is the um, annex room. Um, so this used to be an office, he's had this converted uh, and we've just made it into a bedroom. It's got a nice little sort of bathroom thing, ensuite um, attached to it. And then we come around here and this is the, the sort of the feature of the house is the, the kitchen. Um, it's all uh, like KitchenAid fitted appliances. Um, it's all amazing high quality stuff. Each of these is thousands of pounds each. We didn't buy them, we just rent the property and the guy has had this refurb done. Um, so then if we come over here, obviously there's the outside area, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but this is the living dining room. And there's actually a sort of a lounge area over here that I will show you now. I don't actually know where the light is in here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so this is the lounge area. Um, and in order to maximize like rent, how many people we can get staying here, this bit here actually folds out as a sofa bed. Uh, we've got a smart TV. We've got me. And then if we come back around here, also, it's all, um, we've got uh, Alexa and things built in. Um, this, is a, this is a boiling water tap, so if you take that thing off there, the red thing. Oh, <laughs> Alexa's talking to me. Alexa, shush. Oh wow, I can't believe that worked. Yeah, so then we go back down the hallway. Uh, another mirror, we like a mirror. And we come... Up the stairs, this is, what you, this is what you see coming in the front door. So you come up the stairs, and then as soon as you get up the stairs, the first thing here is the main bathroom. Yeah, so this is the main bathroom, bath, shower. Again, really, really nicely done, uh, really high quality. Uh, then this is the first Super King room. Actually, what I was saying earlier about uh, maximizing the rent, you can actually split this one into two um, and, and house another person. Uh, and then this in here, same situation, just a bit of a different design, um, all built in wardrobes. And then this one here is the other single room, a bit smaller, would work quite nicely as an office as well, but obviously we, we're hosting people for overnight stays. Um, and there is actually, up there, 
an attic room. But um, we don't typically let the guests have access to the attic room because uh, health and safety. So, I mean, if you look at where it is, up there, and like the stairs are right here, it's it's not ideal, is it? We don't usually let guests have access to it, potentially on long-term long stays, um, but that varies from, from person to person. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head back to Oxford, and then we've got a couple of other bits to do, and yeah, I guess I will see you then. I actually forgot to mention quickly, um, this is actually one of two properties we have in this area. Uh, we have this one in Windsor, and then we've got one in Eton as well. Uh, yes, this is free promotion, free advertising, and if you want to book, please let me know and I'll get you in. Although we are pretty much fully booked, I think until about January for both. But I will see you back in Oxford. So, uh, we are back in Oxford now, and I've just got to organise a few bookings that we've got at the house that I've just been to, uh, reorganise, because obviously we've got a long-term stay, so I'm going to get on the phone to a few people, reorganise um, some stuff for that, talk to a few of our, uh, our partners. I should imagine that tomorrow's vlog is going to be a bit more interesting than today's vlog, purely for the fact that um, it's Sunday, so a lot of the agencies are closed. I'll only have to do probably half the amount of work I'm doing today. But I think we're planning on going to Ikea on Monday as well, so that should be good. I always love Ikea. Ikea and Costco, best shops on the planet, I'll tell you that now. Uh, okay, so I am editing the the video from yesterday, but would have been a couple of... I, it's, it's confusing. I'm editing yesterday's vlog, um, which you would have already seen by the time the one that I'm filming right now goes up. And I realised that I said this. Uh, my hair looks awful, so I think it's at the point if I don't get a haircut today, I might have to shave my head. Yeah, I'm not shaving my head. Anyway, it's amazing what you see when you're watching yourself about 30 times over, because... I've just watched this and I realise when I'm sitting at my desk how fat I actually look. Um, I haven't been to the gym in a while and it's made me feel awful so uh, I think we're going to be going to the gym tonight. For a while. Okay, so I'm learning a lot just by editing this video. I know I've filmed a couple of bits now where I've been editing it, but there's been a couple of bits that I've noticed that I really, really like to do better. Um, and I think this video that I'm filming now will actually be a lot better than the, the first one that goes up. But as I say, it's getting into a routine. I'm, tr I'm trying to build up something a bit more consistent over these 30 days, so bear with me. Um, but I have noticed just now that when I had, because obviously I'm filming under a uh, DSLR, um, and when I had the strap on it that goes around your neck, it was actually rubbing on the microphone and it does create a bit of crackle. Um, so apologies for that, but I have taken the strap off for this video um, just because, do you know what, I don't actually know why I did it. I just took it off this morning. I think sub subconsciously I knew. Uh, I think it was just getting in my way yesterday. So that's off now, that should be sorted. And then the other bits that obviously I noticed will be fixed as well, but uh, I'm still not shaving my head. Okay, so I just finished editing the vlog for yesterday. Um, and I've gone to upload it, and um, because it's actually a lot longer than I thought it was, um, the <laughs> hmm, it's going to be late. Look, two hours and 40 something minutes, or 50 something, 55 minutes. Okay, so vlog from yesterday is, is taking about two to three hours to upload. Um, so that's going to be up late, which is not ideal, but um, right now I'm just going to nip out and get some bits. Uh, I need to get something for dinner and I also need to go and get some more whiteboard markers. Uh, so yeah, I figured by me not being here and not using the Wi-Fi it might speed it up a little bit because it's, um, it's been downloading for 20 minutes and it's only 16% done. So it's saying another 2 hours and 35 minutes which is nice, we like that. Probably not gonna bring the camera because I doubt they're gonna let me film in there. And um, yeah, well, it's a supermarket, it's not that interesting. Okay, uh, as you can probably tell, it's it's not night time. Uh, this is actually the next day. Um, I did film an outro uh, and I did film after I got back from the shop, but uh, it was all completely out of focus. So um, that's not good. So I'm recording it now. Basically all that happened last night, it wasn't particularly exciting. Uh, I spent about an hour and a half on the phone to my business partner, then I just chilled out for a bit and had a bit of R&R. &R. Yeah, and then I went to bed, got an early night, and now we're the next day. I've actually already started recording vlog number five. 
So this is a bit of a inception kind of thing going on right now, but it is what it is. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.